Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you for joining me. The Australian dollar bullish stride marched higher on Tuesday after Australians' household inflation hit its highest level since 1990. Following new figures released by the Australian Bureau of Statistics, the Australian Consumer Price Index, or the CPI, rose for the fourth consecutive quarter. The final month of 2022 drove inflation to 7.8% in the year to December, the biggest annual leap since 1990. Traders are now assessing what the RBA may do when they meet on February 7th. With a much anticipated 25 base point rate hike, there is still in the background talk of 50 bases to try and cool inflation. Nevertheless, let's see how it all unfolds. And at present, the market is looking at 25. Looking at the technical outlook, though, we've nearly reached this objective which was calling for some time at 71.15. After today, we saw a high of 71.05. This is where I feel the market may start offloading some of its long position or lighten its position due to the overbought indicator. And along with that, there is still, though, further indication that the topside challenge could extend. So therefore, do assess your risk management as we may see anywhere from 71.15 to 71.60 as a potential target before the pullback to around 70.5 to 69.90. Moving on to the euro, the market is still holding to its gains. After the last six consecutive days, it's pushed the indicator slightly overbought. Nevertheless, 109.45.60 still holds, even though we did print on Monday a fresh nine-month high around 109.27. The dollar index, meanwhile, is still remaining to a lackluster price action as it trades around 101.65 and has hardly moved there for the last few days. Earlier though in the week, ECB President Christina Lagarde and other policymakers hit the wires saying that the European Central Bank will reach an interest rate peak by about the end of September of 3.25%. Overseas, though, the U.S. Central Bank has entered the blackout period before its uh, FOMC meeting or its rate decision, with also a 25 base point rate hike expected. But before then, we've still got the U.S. Growth Domestic Product, or the GDP, report. Along with that, we also have the Personal Consumption Expenditures, or the PCE report, which may shed some light on spending consumer spending, that is, income growth, and also inflation. But as I mentioned, all eyes will be looking towards the Fed meeting on Jan 31, Feb 01, and let's see if it will deliver a message to a more dovish turn, and we get a 25 base point rate hike. In the meantime, though, as I said, look into that 109.45.60 before the market is likely to see some profit-taking and lighten their long position and ease back towards the region of somewhere around 108.10. I still feel that since the break of this downtrend, the technicals are holding relatively firm for dollar yen and therefore looks towards 130.80 to 131.7090 as a potential target. Reassess from there as we may see some profit taking come back into play. But if we do see a weaker dollar, then we may see the downside challenge and a break of 129 figure would negate the call to the bullish case of 131 and therefore look back towards the bottom side of the range seen around 126, 75, 90. Well, having the call of the 124 level and turning neutral there, the market has pulled back and now currently looking towards the challenge of 122, 90. While looking ahead, the investors are waiting for the UK's PPI number data which is scheduled Wednesday. That could give a little bit of uh, momentum in the market price action. But at present, we are breaking down from the RSI. So let's see if the market does take the challenge, which is very close to 122.90. Failing to support that level, then 122.25 will be exposed. As we move closer to the upside, we can see here that the indicator for the RSI is getting heavy along with the MACD. I do feel that some warning should be given or some merit to the fact is that the bears are likely to be creeping 
slowly out of the woods and therefore could see the challenge to 1,928 and therefore beneath that 1,918 to 1,900, figure five. I'm not abandoning the top side because that is the measured move in this current pattern. But nevertheless, with the technicals getting somewhat heavy, I feel that we may fail to reach that objective around 1,951 to 2 and instead see the bears weigh heavily back to the market. Wrapping up with all, well, the challenge to that top side around 81, 50, 90 area failed and the market tumbled very heavily overnight. And now for looking towards 78, 50, 80 as a potential target, which could see again a bounce. So therefore, I'm not abandoning the top side level just yet in case we see a bounce and look back to that challenge around that 81 to 82 area. Well, that wraps it for the day. Thank you very much for joining me. And as always, look out for the intraday report and I hope you enjoy the rest of the day.